Hello um, everyone. So here we want to uh, look at the zeros or the roots of uh, polynomials. Okay. Um, what is what is what do you mean by the root or the zero of a polynomial? So give it a polynomial p of x. All right. Now all the values of x that will cause this to go to zero. Okay. Are called the zeros of the polynomial. All right. So if x is equal to n, is such that p of n is zero, then x is equal to n is a zero or root of the polynomial p of x. Okay. Remember in the previous uh, the previous session um, we we had uh, this polynomial p of x right which was equal to x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 2 and then we factorize it we factorize it to get um, the factors x minus 1 x plus 1 and then x minus and then x minus 2 okay so what you find here is that any of these so if i equate this equal to 0 i get x plus 1 what it means is that p of 1 will cause this to go to 0, right? This becomes 0. When x is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. You multiply by all of that, that goes to 0. When x is negative 1, right? This will also cause all of this to go to 0. When x is 2, this guy goes to 0, so the whole expression goes to 0. So you notice from here that p of 1 will be 0, p of negative 1 will be 0. So the numbers x equals 1, x equals negative 1, x equals 2 are the zeros or the roots of the polynomial p of x, this guy. Okay? So x equals 1, x equals negative 1, x equals 2 are uh, the zeros, zeros or roots of this polynomial. Okay, good. So often you are giving a polynomial, you want to find the roots. So it's related to how do you factor. If you are able to factorize it for the factors, then you get the roots. You can get the root from the factors. Okay. Now we want to take uh, something called the remainder theorem. All right. The remainder theorem helps us to find the remainder if you divide a polynomial by a linear polynomial. Right. If you get the remainder. Um, the remainder theorem tells you how to get the remainder without going through the long uh, division process. Okay, you can you can do the long division, um, but this helps us to be able to find the remainder without doing that. So it's a uh, it's a nice theorem. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, give you a sketch of it. All right, the remainder remainder theorem. Okay, says that uh, when um, a polynomial, so if you have a polynomial, okay, P of S is divided by, divided by a linear, a linear polynomial, Say x minus 1, okay, a, alright? a could be positive or negative. Divided by this, the remainder, the remainder is given by p of a, right? Equate this equals 0. You get x plus a. So plug it into p, and that gives you um, the remainder. Okay? So, um, the factor theorem is very similar to that. Maybe we'll just take that and then we'll do some examples. So, there is also the factor theorem, factor theorem, which is very similar to, uh, to this, okay? That if, given your polynomial, polynomial P of X, if P of 
a x is a if p of a is zero then x minus a all right is factor is a factor of the polynomial your okay and we've seen this already right so if you can plug in um x equals this guy and the polynomial vanishes then c x equals a causes the polynomial to vanish to get a factor you just bring a to the side and you have x minus a this is all we need for that previous example okay so this becomes a factor that's why it's called a factor theorem this is a factor of that polynomial okay so you get a factor if the integer goes to zero but if it doesn't go to zero and you get a remainder what is the remainder? The remainder theorem helps you to find the remainder. It says that to get a, to find the remainder, just do this: compute p of a. Whatever you get will be the remainder. Okay. Let's look at um. Let's look at a few, maybe one example to uh, finish this off. So we'll look at um. This quadratic. So take for instance, um, okay, so example find find the remainder, find the remainder, find p of x is equal to x squared and then x plus one is divided divided by x plus 1. Okay, when you divide this by x, what remainder do you get? Well, um, one way is you do a long division, take this and divide by this, and see um, you get a remainder at the end of x. But it's a long process. The theorem helps us to do um, a better job. It says, we're going to divide by this linear factor. So, what I do is I take this factor, put it in 0, as x equals negative 1. So the theorem says put x equals negative 1 in the polynomial. Whatever you get is actually the remainder that you will get if you divide it, if you did a long division. Okay? So p of minus 1 will be equal to what? Negative 1 squared minus negative 1 plus 1, that is equal to this is positive, this is positive, this is positive, that is equal to 3. So by using the theorem, we don't have to do a long division, but it says that if you divide this by this, the remainder is going to be 3. Good. Just to check, right, let's check whether that is the case. So you need to take um, x plus 1 and divide, and divide by x squared minus x plus 1 to see whether indeed right the remainder will be 3. So x goes to x squared, you have what? x, this and this gives you x squared, x times 1 is x, okay? Subtract, that is 0, negative, minus this, that's negative 2x plus 1, right? This is 0. x goes in there, you have negative 2, this and this gives you negative 2x. Negative 2 and 1 makes negative 2. Okay, watch. This is 0. 1 minus minus 2. That is positive 3. So the remainder, when you divide this by that, is 3. Which is the same as what we got here. So the remainder theorem actually works. Okay? So it says that if you want to find the remainder, divide the polynomial by some linear factor, all you do is that equate this to zero, find the x, put it in the polynomial, compute it, the result is the remainder. Okay? Um, we can we can please do one more and then we'll be done with this. Find the remainder when let's get rid of this. Find the remainder when the polynomial 
of x is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared minus 6x plus 8 is divided, divided by x minus 2. Alright? What do you get? How many divided this by this? What is the remainder? Okay? So, to find the remainder solution by the remainder theorem. This one, if I take this linear factor, equate it to zero, x will be equal to what? Two. So I plug two into this. So I find compute p of two. You see? p of two will be two raised to the power three is eight plus two squared is four, four times three is twelve. Minus six and two will give me twelve plus eight. Right? This is equal to what? Well, the twelve comes out, right? Twelve minus twelve is zero. Eight plus eight is sixty. So the remainder, the remainder is sixty. All right. So now you try to verify it. Um, divide this by x minus two. Use the long division and see whether at the end of it the remainder will indeed be uh, one of uh, I mean would be 16 okay yes just try to, uh, to verify it okay now the factor theorem says that uh, if after doing this if we, if, if we did this and we had p of 2 is equal to 0 what well, that would have meant that x minus 2 will be a factor of the polynomial Right? By the factor theorem. Okay? By it's not zero. It's this. So that is the remainder. Okay, good. So that will be X for um, for now. I'll come your way again uh, later with some other.